What's up guys, PBD here and welcome to Mission Impossible Maradona episode 2. Now you may have noticed actually last episode that I said it was going to be titled something in the video but then the title of the actual video was different. Well I had a crazy idea of instead of doing like the basic road to like everybody else does, why not try and do something unique for this series in particular. And I couldn't think of anything but then this guy in this discord chat that I'm in uh, came up with the idea of Mission Impossible and I'm like that's actually not a bad idea because it's kind of like the movie Mission Impossible and it's also kind of like Mission Impossible like the, trading my way up all the way to Prime Maradona is not going to be an easy task and you could say it's almost impossible so uh, hopefully you guys like that uh, title but uh, yeah this is episode 2 we're still starting up with our squad uh, we have one game played. I think that was uh, an offline game that I played just to uh, get the uh, one of the challenges done, one of the starter objectives. And we're going to be doing that as well in this episode. We're going to be opening up some packs, completing some of the starter S not SPCs, uh, the starter challenges. As you see, we're doing them right there. We're also completing the daily objectives. Now, keep in mind, these daily objectives are pretty old. I haven't uploaded in like a few days now. And uh, these objectives, I think they're from like, uh, could be from like the weekend, the past weekend. So yeah, I haven't been doing the daily objectives every day. I noticed that the rewards aren't that great, so it's not really worth the time. I mean, yeah, if I did them every day, we'd probably have more coins now, but I just can't really be bothered to get on and do those because they're annoying. And some of them require you to play offline and offline is just something I don't enjoy doing. Which brings me to my next point. Squad battles are in the game this year, and they're actually pretty interesting. Uh, you can, it's pretty much like the weekend league, but in offline, and probably not as much stress. <laughs> Which is really cool, because you get cool rewards, you can play a lot of FIFA, you don't really have to stress yourself, and it's throughout the week as well, so it's not just the weekend. And uh, I thought about playing it, I might play it eventually, but I just don't see myself playing it a lot if I ever do play it, because... I don't know, it's just a thing with me that I can't live with myself knowing that I have like 300 games played on my record that are offline. It's just crazy to me that some people are actually going to be doing that all year and they're going to have so many of their uh, games on their record be offline doing squad battles. But uh, all power to them. They'll probably end up with more coins than I will just because they're doing that and they don't care. But yeah, personally, it's just not something I can live with. But I, like I said, I still might play them every so often. We'll see what happens with that. So we're completing an SBC over here. Uh, this is like one of the, the starter basic SBCs. Really easy to do. Uh, just requires a little bit of chemistry, and that is pretty much it. And now, what is it called? Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and complete all three of those really quickly over here. Only getting some bronze packs as rewards, so nothing too crazy. But we just started off. So, of course, you want to do all you can to build your way up. As for the teams that I'm going to be using, I haven't really made up my mind what I want to go with, but I did put together a team and half of another team with the players that we got uh, from starting off. So I built like an Argentinian type team. They're all like pretty much Argentinian, except I think one guy in the starting 11 isn't from Argentina. And then the other half team that I built is a Serie A team, which I don't really have too many players in. But yeah, I kind of want to do something like that where I go with an Argentinian team to start off with and a Serie A team. And then as the series progresses, uh, we'll just build whatever is working well, I guess. So that will be that. But we're going to go ahead and open up these packs that we got over here for completing these SPCs. And uh, not expecting anything too crazy because, once again, they are bronze packs. We get that guy who is a rare card from LA Galaxy, which I don't think uh, the SBCs that they released, the league SBCs that are out, are the MLS this time around. Last year in FIFA 17, the f uh, there was two that they released first, and the MLS was the first one of the first ones. So uh, they changed it this year. I'm not too sure what two leagues they went with, but I'm pretty sure it's not the MLS. So we're going to hold on to those guys. I'm going to do... I learned a lot from last year with, in terms of holding on to players for SBCs, and I'm definitely going to keep that in mind with all the packs I opened throughout this year. So I'm going to hold on to those guys who eventually will have a league SBC. But we open up that gold pack that we got, and we get ourselves an 81-rated Fernandez over here. Not too shabby, and uh, that's not uh, 
No, that's someone else. I got confused with that. Uh, actually, is it is it that guy? I don't think it is that guy. Isn't there like a Russian league uh, left back or right back who's Brazilian in the Russian league? I said that twice. I feel like it was that guy, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're putting together the team I was talking about over here. We're just grabbing every Argentinian I have in the club and just putting them all into a team. Not going to uh, get 100 chemistry because uh, some of the positions are out of balance. Also, I start with the 4-4-2 and I just completely for thought, forgot about like uh, changing formation because why would I play with the 4-4-2? It's not really a formation I ever play with. But I just forgot and just went with it into this game over here. And we're playing a game in Division 10. And we come across this guy who's got a pretty decent team to start off with. An all-gold team, 93 chemistry. Without a doubt, a better team than what we have. We have a couple of bronzes, a couple of silvers. We don't have all that great chemistry. And even the gold players that we do have, they're nothing too special. So I took this game, which was, in fact, my first online game. So I wanted to win because I didn't want to start off with a loss. I took this game very conservatively. I didn't rush my passes. I played it slow. Had to keep in mind that my team was inferior to my opponents. So I played it really slow. And in the 35th minute over here, this Alexis guy. I, have, like, I don't even know who these guys are, to be honest. I know I have Zarate up there as one of my strikers. But other than that, I don't really know these guys. And he, he scores a low shot according to that achievement. And that is a finish I don't remember ever doing on uh, uh, FIFA 17. But I'll take it. Nice little finish right there early on to give us the 1-0 lead. And in 37th minute over here, he would have a chance to equalize it. However, his shot goes just wide by Mason right there. And we breathe a sigh of relief as we don't concede immediately after scoring. And with that, we went into the half. 1-0 up. Stats not necessarily in our favor, but we're playing a pretty decent game considering our team. And uh, it was going to be a tricky second half because I was only up 1-0. This guy was creating chances, so I had to watch out with what I did in the second half. And at halftime, I said, you know what? Why don't I just switch formation? I don't really know why I'm playing with the 4-4-2. I finally realized that I could switch formation, and that is exactly what I did. I switched to the 4 one 2 2 narrow because I don't have any wingers. So switching to like the 4-3-2-1 or whatever works this year with a winger formation, I, it just wouldn't have made sense because I don't have any wingers and none of my attackers are really fast at all. So I just went with the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, a formation that I know has been good in FIFA for years now. I'm not sure if it's good in this year, uh, but I'm guessing it is. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. So I switched that, moved some players around and later on I went ahead and brought on some subs as well because I don't really want to play with those bronze guys late in the game. So over here you just see me moving stuff around. I, actually I don't bring them on just yet. I usually do my subs around the 60th minute so that's when I'll do some subs. But yeah, we switched to the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. I also put the instructions on, the same ones I've used in FIFA 17. And in the 52nd minute he gets a corner and scores it. And, and uh, that well, was pretty annoying. Reach. Carlos Vela isn't that well, tall, I don't think. So the fact that he scored a header was a little bit infuriating. But uh, then again, my defenders aren't exactly amazing. Great dribbling right there by whoever that but was, who ends up actually up. scoring. And so I get with Zarate. There you go. Mauro Zarate. What a great little play by him. Not the greatest of cards, but a great little dribbling run right there. Plays the 1 2, and he scores. A little bit lucky because the goalkeeper did save it. But uh, it still went in. We took the 2-1 lead. And with that, we were on top once again. And not too long after scoring, we went ahead and did those subs that I was talking about earlier. We went ahead and moved some of the guys around. I took off that Acosta guy, brought on Amiri. Took off um, Canelo over here and brought on Sansone. And he is going to be up top with Zarate. So we're looking for a third goal just to have that two-goal cushion. And I'm almost positive that that Fernandez guy used to be Brazilian. I'm actually going to look it up right after this because it's honestly bothering me. But yeah, we go ahead, That's we do corner. the subs, and in Tried the 69th minute over here, we would try to create a chance to get that third goal. However, he does intercept our pass. He goes on the attack over here. Orellana gives a good pass to Montero, who's through on goal. Good shot. However, he is denied by the post. And once again... We are Time lucky not to have conceded. So this guy had two good chances, which had he scored, he'd have a 3-2 lead, Sanzo and it would be very difficult for me to come back. Yeah, and in the 84th to... minute, we would hit the woodwork as well, because we try to finish shot outside the box right there, and we are denied. 
by the post. So 2-1, 89th minute. This guy is going on the attack, trying to see if he can rescue a point. Plays it through to Baca, who was through on goal. All he has to do is keep his composure and do a nice little cool finish into the bottom right corner. Unfortunately, though, he kind of panicked. He shot a bad shot. Our goalkeeper saved it. It went out for a corner. His header went wide. We would kick it out from the goal kick and play it and that would be all she wrote because the referee would blow for full time and we would get our first win in Division 10, our first game online with this mediocre team, 2-1. to one. And uh, with that, we get ourselves three points, which is very, very nice. So pretty happy that I won that game. Honestly thought I would struggle considering the guy's team. Not that he had an amazing team, but he had a gold team and I have like some bronzes and silvers and all that mumbo jumbo. But that is going to conclude this episode of Mission Impossible Maradona, guys. We're going to go ahead and actually open the packs as well because, well, not the packs. We're going to claim the rewards for playing a seasons game over here. We get ourselves a injury card, the also valuable injury card. And uh, we also get a, a task completed for... Um, having a player make a debut i think that was one of the fullbacks that we signed that silver guy but yeah that is going to conclude this episode guys thank you so much for watching episode three we're going to continue doing the starter objectives the last one that we need to do the buy a player one we're going to do that one and we're also going to do some SBCs. thank you so much for watching my name is pbd and i'm out